hello I am back again with another video this time I'm gonna ride through Sulphur Springs so I guess this is like a water tower right here I don't know if it's operable but yeah so this is a uh, what is this river tower park something like that it's not much it looks like it's just a I don't know a place where you can like walk your dog or something. I see him walking his dog right now. It's right off of Florida, right in between Florida and Nebraska and Bird Street. So yeah, this is uh, considered to be Sulphur Springs. Um, up further is just a bunch of businesses and stuff like that all the way up to Bush Boulevard. So we could definitely ride that way. But yeah, like I said, this is called the name of this place that we're at right now um it doesn't tell me welcome to city park nope that's not the name of it what was the name of this i thought i saw a name somewhere is it river tower park or something i'm not sure but i don't see the park name anywhere i'm so sorry Whoever is from Tampa and knows the name of this park, you can definitely go ahead and chime in or put in the comments what the name of the park is called. But anyway, let's go ahead and go out of this and we're just gonna go over to Florida. Um, like I said, I'm on Bird right now. Headed west over to Florida Avenue. Um, it's gonna tell me the name of the park in the front here, so I'll be able to see that here in just a second. It is called River Tower Park. So River Tower Park. I'm gonna go ahead and go up. Florida, this is just a bunch of businesses. I shop over here in this area sometimes because they got Elegant Beauty, a hair, hair um, what's it called? A beauty supply store. They got City Trends, which if you look at my videos, I do a lot of City Trends shopping because I like $5 outfits. <laughs> Um, they got a thrift store over there too, I think. Um, and like I said, uh, this is a bunch of businesses and stuff like that. Um, Krispy Kreme, Pawn Shop, Subway, Checkers. There's a Walmart up in here with Home Depot and stuff like that. But then also there's um, housing as well. So let's go ahead and go down Eastwood. Right out Florida. First, I'm going to go up uh, Suwanee because I miss. There's some new houses over here that I thought were pretty cute um, in my days of Krispy Kreme donut eating. Now I can't eat Krispy Kreme donuts because for some reason they taste, it leaves some type of I guess too much sugar in my mouth or something. It's weird. But I like these houses. These are brand new houses. They've probably only been up for two or three years. And of course we just came from that direction which was Bird Street. Or no, that's Waters now. I'm sorry. Waters. And Waters is just full of businesses, so I'm not even going to go that route. There's an auto zone over there that's pretty big. Um, the Habitat for Humanity store is over there, which is also cool. So when I think of Sulphur Springs, though, I really don't think of this area. Um, I think of, um, like, is it east of Nebraska? Yeah, I really don't think of this area. I've actually never rode around over here. So I had no idea what it looks like in this area. Uh, so I never rode on this side of the highway. So you see where the highway is at right there. I never really rode on this side of the highway. But this is considered to be Sulphur Springs as well. All the way over to Florida. And all the way up to Bush. So what I'm gonna end up doing is working my way up closer to Bush. Um, when I first got here to Tampa, Florida, I'm not gonna go down that street. It just got through raining, so I know you can't tell right now because the sun will drop this rain so fast, but it's, that street is kind of flooded. But this house right here, oh my goodness, I'm loving that, yes. Oh, both of these houses are really, really cute. 
Oh, that's maybe one house. I don't know what it is, actually. But that's really cute. I wish I could say, sir, can I have a tour in your house? No, because it doesn't look like they keep it very nice on the inside. Alright, so I do remember this is like the bus area for... Um, like for people to catch the bus over here. So you pretty much see what it looks like. The rest of it is businesses. Um, I guess behind Home Depot is an apartment complex. I've never seen that, really. Um, I don't know if I can make it through there either. Or make it over there. And it's no outlet. So let's see. I can turn it this way and see if I can get to these or access these apartments. No idea what these apartments are over here. I can't access it through there either. So it looks like I can access through this right here. Oh, well, some of them. Okay, no, they're all at there. It's successful. It looks like people live here. It looks like it used to be gated with security. Now they look rough now. I ain't got the. I ain't gonna hold you. We don't have no basketball court up, so I, I can only imagine what happened over here. What was that racket or tennis? Yeah, that was a tennis court at some point. Oh, no, this ain't something that I would be interested in staying in. The show. This is right off a of bush. I mean, I guess they it's livable. Just not for me, unfortunately. right here so these is brand new windows in the front so maybe they're remodeling maybe it's hope after all Like power wash and maybe um, paint, and you got some action. But when I say they're gonna charge you the most down here in Tampa, Florida, and give you the least, that's that's definitely what they be on. All right, so here's the exit. One way in, one way out. I don't know what these is called either, but yeah, we on the way out of here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut on over to the Nebraska side. It looks like I can do that from here. Cause I think this is Yukon. Uh, the name of the street is Yukon, I believe. Yes. So we gonna make a left on Yukon and get on over to uh, the Nebraska side of Sulphur Springs, which is what I'm a little bit more familiar with just from, you know, knowing a couple of people over in this area. Plus, Rowlett Park is not too far from here. I like to go to Rowlett Park to walk. Um, it does look like they have a little bit of trail over here at this little park. I mean, if I can wake up in the morning and go walk, that's, that's always a good thing. Before we go hit Nebraska, let's um, hit, what is this, Talia Ferro? Or Ferro? I'm, I'm not sure how to say that. But um, it looks like they have houses over here also. Home 
Sorry. Okaloosa. And it's a dead end going that way. So let's turn this way. There's another church called Higher Calling. And then, yeah, we hit Nebraska pretty fast because that's right here. The house is a push back a little bit off of the street. So you probably didn't see much, but. is bathing now at this point or the birds is bathing now so at this point i think it's time to not go through that i'm telling y'all it just was raining so there's that so let me go around the other way i guess i better hit yukon i hope i don't run into a lot of this because like i said maybe about an hour ago it was raining so i'm gonna come back down this way that was fairly cheap that had like two bedrooms or whatever and um i looked in this area um i have heard that sulfur springs is rough i've heard it's like one of the roughest neighborhoods in tampa florida again that's just all like a matter of opinion um i'm from kansas city missouri so i mean the areas that are considered rough it literally be stuff going down like almost two or three times a week so um it just kind of like depends on what you know and where you've been and stuff like that i think like i said the area was decent i didn't really see much going on other than people sitting outside i have actually went over here and went walking after 9 p.m in the dark for at least an hour with a friend nothing i mean no action at all people outside definitely people outside but it just was a peaceful walk nice evening you know breeze was flowing it was good times it wasn't no drama at all whatsoever all right so let's go ahead and go up to this next street because the next street after this is going to be a uh, bush we don't want to go to bush uh we already know what bush is like let's just go ahead and go down skagway and just get off into the neighborhood so these are businesses though Ugh. auto repair businesses so probably not really this type of area. Let me go off down where the houses are actually at because this is 
is a bit too industrial for me. I want to try to avoid Nebraska because it is a major street. But again, I'm seeing another park where you could probably do some walking and stuff like that at. If you so this is the thing I like about Tampa. Every neighborhood seems to have a park where you could at least like maybe walk with some structure, you know what I'm saying? Like walking around. I don't know what this building is. It must be some type of community center. It is fenced, so you don't have access to it. But maybe you do. Let me go down this way and see. Yeah, no, this looks like it's some type of something that's gonna close after hours. So it's a what is that? Uh, a football field? No, that's some type of track. Oh, that would be perfect. I wonder do they let you access this during like you know 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something? That would be nice. It's a whole complete track, and it's nice and clean, so. I'm sure they're not just letting anybody up there. Dang, I hit the curb. I'm trying to pay attention to what was over there. Let me make sure I'm watching. Oh, no, that's a baseball field. It's not a track. My bad. So, that's a baseball field. This is um, Spring Hill Park Community Center is what that's called. So, no, you can't get on that. Probably. I mean, you wouldn't need to anyway. Alright, once again, that's Nebraska. So, yeah, Spring Hill Park. So, I'm supposing you don't have access to it whenever you'd like to go. Alright, back on Yukon. Oh, I like that duplex. Oh, it got two garages or two um, driveways. Or that community center. Yeah, some of these houses are really nice. to the left is going to be more so like Bush Avenue or Bush Boulevard. I don't know what it's called. We're going to pass through Yukon and see what's this way. Y'all see these houses? You see the house, the gray house with the yellow doors? I love when I see that. That is so, that just pops so much. That color does. Here goes an, another community center, North Tampa Community Center. So it's more like indoors. Um, this looks like an elementary school. It's big though. And more housing. Yeah, that's how it Well, it might look some middle school because those kids look big. I actually see the kids running up the stairs just a while ago. Okay, so here's Waters. Okay, so some of this must be elementary too because that was a small child. So what time is it? It's 1.56. Let's go this way. We're in the school zone right now. I'm gonna just ride back up this way and just see, cause I thought I saw some newer looking houses that were really cute. So this must, this parking lot must be for this church right here. Down 
Fairbanks just a while ago. I really like this corner house on to my left. You can't see it because I'm passing by it, but that's the garage that we just passed. But it's a lot of duplexes over here though, I know that. over waters so eventually you can't even go no further because it's gonna be like the river that you'll run into so it's not really much that you'll be able to see or not too much you'll be able to go any further as far as like the river area I'm gonna let this truck go ahead and go past and I'm going to try to drive down as far as I possibly can to see if I can see some of the river. But, um, Sulphur Springs, it seems like it's from Bush all the way down to the end where you can't pass the river. And it's over to, so like, I'm going to say Bird, but this is Bird right here. But it's going to go a little bit further because it's where the water, you can't get past the water. So Sitka, I think is the name of one of the streets. But also, um, it's from Nebraska to 22nd when it runs like east and west, Nebraska to 22nd. Or no, I'm sorry, Florida to 22nd is where it goes. All right, so here goes Sitka right here. But past Sitka right down here is where the water is going to be. And I also believe, yeah, that's where the that um, swimming pool is. So I think the uh, duplex that I was looking at was one of these over here. And then I saw that they were building new houses over in this direction as well. But you can't go past this because it's all water right here. However, the street lets me go at least be able to see. But this will be like a nice area to live in. I, I just know it would. I love like all that down there is water. Of course. Oh, wait. Some turtles right there. Let me back up and see if I can see them. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm going to try to pull this thing off. So, uh, here comes a car, too. I'm going to have to go around, baby. You don't make no fuss. Thank you. All right. Wait. Where did y'all ass go? Uh, I don't know if you can see it for real. It's some turtles right down in there. Uh, maybe not. Damn, it seems like they moved off a little bit. Oh well, I'm sorry y'all. You ain't gonna be able to see the turtles. But I promise you they was there. Oh, let me get this back on here. All right, here we go. Let me put my stuff back right. I wish you could see this whole view, but unfortunately, I can't make that happen. But over to my right is water, right? It's the river, it's the Hillsborough River. I used to live on the Hillsborough River. I showed you that when I stayed in Nucio. But yeah. So all of this housing is backed up into The water here's man wagon memorial park and you can actually see and possibly have yeah i'm sure they let you have access to the river through here but unfortunately hours of operation sunset to sunrise i don't think it costs nothing But yeah, there's uh, the river's gonna be in that direction. And one 
one day I could possibly do like tours of parks and stuff like that because I mean Florida has so many beautiful parks that like are just a lot of greenery and a lot of flowers and you know stuff like that so yeah but man you you gotta be real happy if you live off in this on this street right here because I mean you just have access to all of that which is beautiful you know like what more can you ask for living on the water and the smell of the river I used to live on the river the smell of it that fresh salt water it just smells so good now you got alligators and stuff you have to worry about but it's just it's a beautiful place now that's a dead end, so I'm not going to go off into that area, but it's really pretty around these parts. It's a dead end down that street, too. All oh, this shit going to be dead ends. Yeah. But it's on the water down there, too. I see cars parked facing it. Look at your house just hidden off over here. I would love this. These type of this type of uh, stuff, like these areas, I bet you ain't nobody never selling. All this greenery. I mean, you. What more can you ask for? It's just it's untouched. Put it that way. Like it's nobody fuck with it. It's they left it alone. All right, and then of course we back inland. Um, like I said, it goes all the way over to twenty second. Of course, I'm going to try to get as close to the water as possible, but listen, you can call this the hood if you want to, but in this neighborhood, it is some hidden gems. It is hidden gems over here. And I don't think the hidden gems are bodies. I think it's, I think this is a beautiful area. I don't know who did that. Put that big uh, Christmas tree ball up. Yeah, this is amazing. This is really pretty. Somebody got their boat up. Look like they don't never use it, but look at the thugs sitting now. What y'all looking at? It's so pretty around here. But I'm telling you, they still staring. Let me tell y'all. If you was asked, if, if you was questioned, you saw. You saw what happened. Like for real. All right, let's go down in this area. Y'all, all this is Silver Springs. You cannot tell me that this is a bad area. And I be putting that they say that these is the worst areas. I ain't said it. Other people say it. No, they not. These places are pretty. They are beautiful. They are just, I mean, whatever goes on that people think is just so terrible. I think that happens in every neighborhood. But... I see something different like I see pretty like just it's really nice I could imagine walking in this neighborhood I wouldn't want to walk at night because it's just too much greener and I'd be worried about what animals gonna pop out on me but ultimately like I said I think this is a nice nice neighborhood not a cocoa melon day here <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> But yeah, we are literally on the water. You might as well say, look at these apartments. I didn't even never knew this was back here. Yeah, these are duplexes. Um, maybe, yeah, they are, yeah. It's two doors, yep. Yeah. One on each side. Awesome. So this must be some type of park. Because anytime I see these green signs, City of Tampa Park. But where do you park at? Where do you go? So we're on 17th now. So we're getting closer to 22nd where this area supposedly ends. But what y'all think so far about what you see in Sulphur Springs? Like, what do you think about 
this area like isn't this it just looks so wooded and, and it's a large community in the woods that's what i and i know it's not the woods but this is inner city but it's really really nice to me it's really nice all these apartments are the back the behind them or their backyard is hillsborough river which i think is beautiful I wish I had better access to where like they had maybe like an opening park or open park to where you can see everything. I think that would be amazing. And this is River Cove Park. That we're passing right now. I mean, they're not letting you see none of the water because they didn't close it all off. I don't know why, but they make sure it's like almost like you can't see it at all. And here goes Sitka. still not real familiar with where I'm at coming out of this. Oh, you know what? This looks very, very familiar. All right. So we're coming up on 22nd, which is going into a totally separate neighborhood. Um, that's going to be like the Rowlett Park area, which I don't know what they call that area yet, but I will let you know. I'm over in that area a lot, more than once a week because I go to Rowlett Park. There go another gray house with the yellow door. Like I said, I really, really, really love that. So let's go up this street. Now I've walked around this neighborhood right here because like I said, I have a friend that lives around this way. And so we go walking, um, you know, it's better to go walk in at night because it's way too hot. But yeah, it's real nice. It's real peaceful. This church right here, Idlewild at the Springs. Um, it's a nice size church and they have like picnics and stuff like that in the back. They have a play area for the kids. It seems real, real cool. I really like it. Up oh, here comes another one of these houses that I'm talking about with like bright color blue or pastel color blue with the yellow door. I love, love, love that. Those are some of the prettiest houses ever. And of course, you will put that on the corner. That's the prettiest house on the block, I'm quite sure. All right, so we're on Bird, East Bird Street. And we're going to just take Bird all the way, as far over to the rest as possible. Uh, because now we're headed back towards Nebraska and we're just going to look at what they got going on around this area quiet neighborhood I know this neighborhood is quiet because like I said I come around this area to go walk in and it's just pretty cool it's real a real peaceful walk um, oh that house is pretty that's white, white and gray house is real cute it looks fairly new. Um, yeah, they you can make fences on that's nice. I like this neighborhood. And again, all of this is in Sulphur Springs. So it's not too bad, right? If you know of any neighborhoods in Tampa, go ahead and put it in the comments what your favorite neighborhood is. Is I would be so happy to ride around in your neighborhood. Tell me some landmarks you want me to see. Ask me what you think, what I think about it. I'll let you know. But yeah. But yeah, this neighborhood is pretty cool. I would definitely live around here. Like I said, I was looking for a place here. Previously, oh, this house is real cute too. I love that one. I like those pillars in the front and the fact that they have an actual real live porch. I like that. 
And then they fence. Yeah, they, they put some money into their house, baby. It's bright and sunny. Okay, what is this? Cross over and walk with Jesus. A revival explosion. I don't know the name of the church, but... It's big. It look pretty big. All right, and we're pulling up on Sitka. So again, yeah, I think this is a really nice little neighborhood. pretty quiet looks like everybody keeps their houses up pretty nice here goes a house for sale um this the fencing looks real nice but the house is high right. Some of these houses is really, really nice and it looks like they really take me a care of them. Here go another house. Yellow with the, well, gray with the yellow door on it. So cute. Y'all see that? Pretty good. I like houses like that. I wonder what color would I do? What if I did baby blue with a pink door? Or baby blue with a navy blue door? What's that giving? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the cat in the hat. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really like that. I like this. See this baby blue with navy blue trim. Um, I don't know about this pink with orange trim. That that's a no. You took it too far. But yeah, I like that baby blue with yellow, baby blue with navy blue. I think that is so cute. But, um, so, so the parks are more so walkable on the other side of Nebraska versus the parks on this side are more just like for scenic views because it doesn't look like it's a lot of trails or anything. So that's something good to know. However, yeah, I, I definitely would still be interested in this area. This area is definitely something I wouldn't mind, you know, living in. It seems 